Hi everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to my film and TV channel. And today we have one of our regular features, a look at what's out to buy. So this is uh, UK in store and available online. So please check your territories if there's anything here that you're actually interested in. Very, very quiet week this week. Uh, only four films and one TV series. Uh, it's um, it's 3rd of May. So yeah, it's what well, it's out 3rd of May. It's funny, when I used to have the video shop. Uh, back in Manchester in the late 90s, the 2000s, uh, May was always our quietest month. So obviously it's uh, no surprise to me that uh, there's not a lot coming out to buy. I actually opened my very first video shop uh, in 1995 and I actually opened it uh, on about the 4th or 5th of May, I think it was. I took a grand total of uh, £18 in money. So it wasn't the greatest start, but uh, it did improve after that, believe me. So anyway, please join me today as we have a look at what's out to buy from the 3rd of May. Please, if you're new to this channel, push that subscribe button. You'll learn a little bit of Bernard history as well. Please push that notification button for all things film and TV. And of course, if you look at my playlist, there's lots of stuff, but you'll also see football stuff as well. I have a little uh, vlog for my football team, Manchester City. So if that's of any interest or you know somebody who might be interested in it, please point them in my direction. Lots of stuff on there as well. But uh, it's film and TV today we're talking about. And if you need any friends or followers or you just started out on Facebook and Twitter, just uh, check the links on screen. And I do check back every three or four days and follow and friend everyone back and I post loads of stuff about film and TV and repost stuff on there as well so that's uh, an interest to you and the please all comments are welcome on, on what you're going to buy perhaps it's this quiet week or uh, obviously anything to do with film and tv it doesn't have to be what you're buying it could be about a film or just ask me any, anything you want and the please if you haven't got time for a comment if you can just give us a thumbs up it's nice to get views but it's nice to get thumbs up as well anyway well it shouldn't take too long today to get through these not the not the biggest of films either um so we'll start off with a horror thriller shall we we'll start off with an 18 certificate and it's the reboot it's another reboot of a yeah i did enjoy the original the original came out while well, i did have the video shop i think i didn't check the dates on this one but it must have been in the 90s surely late 90s and it's a film called wrong turn of course uh seven pound on dvd 12 pound on Blu-ray. An hour and 50 minutes. It stars Matthew Modine, Emma Dumont, Charlotte Vega, Daisy Head and Bill Sage. When a dream trip turns into a nightmare, one group of friends finds themselves at the mercy of an urban legend, the Foundation. As a freak accident drives the group deeper into the mountains, they find themselves succumbing one by one to hunting traps large enough to take out anyone that dares venture off the beaten path. The group soon realise they are not alone and what happens next escalates into a gruesome game of survival as those who call the mountain home respond to this outside threat with their own swift and brutal justice. Yeah, I've not had a chance to watch this. I have seen it. I've tried to find it, but I've not found it yet. But uh, Internet Movie Database, it's getting a score of 5.4 out of 10. So not, not the greatest score, but I wouldn't give up on that. As I say, it's, it's the sort of film a lot of people don't like and will leave a bad review on even... even if you haven't watched it, so I, I, don't, I wouldn't worry too much about that. But I will try and get a, get a watch of that and get a review of it if it's worthwhile. But Internet Movie Day, so it's 5.4 out of 10. Anyway, if you know about it, you've seen it and you like it and you want it, that's out to buy. And the next one is Attack of the Unknown. Uh, yeah, good good cover. I like, I like the look of the uh, DVD. It's an action horror sci-fi, 15 rating, £7, so it's cheap as chips really on DVD, an hour and 43 minutes. Stars Tara Reid, Robert Lasado, and Richard Grieco. And it's a SWAT team transporting a high-profile inmate through the streets of Los Angeles, find themselves trapped inside a county detention centre as the world burns around them. No radios, working vehicles or contact with the outside world. They must put aside their differences and band together to escape the mysterious alien forces that are tracking them. Attack of the Unknown is an epic sci-fi, their words, not mine, epic sci-fi alien invasion where the fate of the world is at stake. Yeah, well, there you go. Internet Movie Database, 3.7 out of 10. So perhaps not as epic as uh, the guys are sort of saying, but uh, there you go. If you've watched that, you fancy it, you want to buy it, there you go, it's out there to buy uh, Attack of the Unknown. 3.7 out of 10. I might, I might watch five minutes and see if it's as bad as it's, it's that bad. It might be good, who knows. Uh, Doors with the Wolf next, uh, an action thriller. And I think I have watched this, but I wasn't overly impressed, if you remember rightly. I don't think I watched it all, and did, I don't think I'd even bother with the review. I may be wrong, my apologies if I am Doors with the Wolf. Action thriller, 15 certificates, 7 99 on DVD, an hour and 25 
stars Gina Caron, Car Carano, Richard Dreyfus, no less, and Brenda Fur. Claire McKenna, an ex-military specialist, comes on to the recent news of her father's passing, only to find herself at odds with her defiant 13-year-old son, Charlie. They're a little pain in the bums, these teenagers, aren't they? With the news that Claire has inherited a large sum of money from her father's business, Charlie is kidnapped for a ransom. Instead of seeking help, Claire takes one of the kidnappers, Larson, as a hostage and forces him to lead her on a perilous journey to rescue her son from the mysterious figure only known as the Father. The trek takes Claire deep in the mountains of the Yukon near the US-Canadian border as a winter storm approaches. As the odds of survival start to mount against Claire, she has no choice but to form an unlikely alliance with Larson in order to save her son and survive the wild of the far north. Iron Internet Movie Database rating, 4.7 out of 10. So perhaps I did start to watch it, but or perhaps I saw it and didn't fancy it. But uh, there you go. If you watched it, you liked it, you want to buy it, that's out to buy. And the last film we're going to look at, yeah, this is just on Blu-ray, this one. Uh, it's a bit of one of these uh, sort of sometimes you just put, put them out a limited number on a, on a certain uh, format. And it's Uncle Peckerhead. Yeah, horror, music and comedy involved in this one. An 18 certificate. £12.99 on Blu-ray. So I say if you do know about this, that's not a bad price. David Littleton, Chet Siegel and David Bloodburn star in this. Uh, punk outfit D.U.H. are about to embark on their first tour in preparation for a big hometown show. The only problem is they don't have any wheels. Luckily they run into a nice southern redneck, Peckerhead or Peck to his friends of course, who has just happens to live in a 15 passenger van. He is more than happy to be their roadie and merch guy if they throw a few books and cover the gas. What could be the harm? However, Peck has a secret he is keeping. If he doesn't take his medicine before midnight, he turns into a cannibalistic monster. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Internet movie database, 5.9 out of 10. Well, it's just just under 6 out of 10, so that could be that. It could be stupid. It could be that stupid that it's quite good fun. So, yeah, that could be interesting. So, Uncle, I'll have to keep my eyes out for that one. I've not seen Uncle Peckerhead, I must admit. And the only TV series box set that's out this week. Uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed this when I watched it uh, only a few weeks ago. There, were, there is a review out there on this one. It's a drama, mystery, thriller, a TV, Keeping Faith, of course, Series 3, 1986, 86, 86, 86, these teeth, <laughs> I'm breaking them in still, 1986 on DVD, uh, just under six hours approximately, there were six episodes, wasn't there, uh, it's a BBC production, so the longer episodes, Eve Miles, Bradley Freegard, Mark Lewis-Jones, it's 18 months since we last saw life in Abercorn, and Faith and Evan's divorce and custody battle go from bad to worse. Reviews into Let Go Evan is insanely jealous of Faith's burgeoning love affair with Steve Baldini. Well, who wouldn't be? He's a horrible man. I'm fearful that they intend to start a new life together. Meanwhile, Faith and Cherry have established a new law firm and take on the case of 14-year-old Ossian Taylor, who is suffering from an aggressive brain tumour that his doctors have declared too advanced to operate on. Here, Not much laughter in this series, I tell you. Uh, while dealing with the trauma, her imminent divorce is inflicting on her daughter as well as all the pressures of work Faith faces an even bigger and far more terrifying problem when her long estranged mother Rose horrible woman reappears yep the episodes are scoring anywhere between 6.2 and 8.1 so as you'd expect we're keeping Faith and a British drama a pretty mixed bag but uh, overall I think it was okay but check out my little review on that one anyway so there you go all done and dusted. Uh, four films, Wrong Term, Attack of the Unknown, Daughter of the Wolf and Uncle Peckerhead and Keeping Faith Series 3. And if you said to me, Bernard, you've got, yeah, you're going to buy one of them. You've got, I'm going to stick on a desert island for 12 months and uh, you can only watch one on repeat. <laughs> mm. uh, which one will it be? Well, it won't it possibly be Keeping Faith, but I have seen it, so I don't want to watch that on repeat too much. Uh, I do fancy Wrong Turn because I have a little inkling I might like it, even though it might be quite rubbish. But hey, a little bit, a little bit of me wants to buy Uncle Peckerhead. So uh, yeah, give us thirteen quid. I'll go out and buy the Blu-ray of Uncle Peckerhead and see what it's like, and leave you. I'll leave you a review. I'll I'll email it from the 
desert island I'm on because obviously it's electricity otherwise I wouldn't be able to to watch the blu-ray or dvd would I so there you go anyway <laughs> let me know if there's any of these tickle your fancy anyway thanks for watching what are we going to do this day have a great one look at yourselves look at your friends look at your families more importantly let's all look after each other so we meet here again on the film and tv channel or perhaps have a flit across have a look at my citizen channel my football channel all I ever ask of you is please stay safe everyone thanks for watching bye for now